Hello Chaos Gang and welcome back to my bullshit. I'm Sybil and today I'm here alone. If you want any of Ali or I's socials, they will be linked down in the description below. I'm also gonna link a GoFundMe to help um, Ali's family with the funeral costs um, for her grandfather. So if you want that, uh, please donate to that link or, you know, share it. All right, so today we're gonna get into something that is a deep, deep fear of mine. It's something I've lightly talked about before on this channel and that is straight TikTok pranks. You know, like the funny ha-has, either from making your partner feel super insecure to just straight up telling them that they're ugly. You know, it's just so fun putting your partner through emotional distress. So then you could be like, ha-ha, it was, it was a prank, dude. Get, get fucked. Nothing, nothing more solidifying in a relationship than that. Today, I figured we'd specifically focus on the TikTok, like, cheating pranks. No, don't get me wrong. Sometimes these are very obviously fake, but sometimes they're very obviously real. You know, to each their own, but I personally wouldn't want to make my girlfriend think that I just cheated on them. I personally wouldn't want to put my girlfriend through that, even if afterwards I said, haha, don't worry, it was a fucking prank. All right, let's get into it. Cheating prank with my new boyfriend. Okay, it's very possible that one was fake, but I'm gonna treat it as if it was real. So first of all, the weird caress of <laughs> of the fake boyfriend, that made me giggle a little bit just because it was so creepy. But what really gets me is him opening the door looking, closing it like he's sad and doesn't know what to do, but then just coming in and beating the fucking shit out of the guy. <laughs> the, the guy. I've also never understood that. Like, why would you just start hitting the person that they're cheating on you with? Like, am I the only one who thinks that? I'm like, sometimes people don't even know that they're the other person. Like, I feel like it's totally normal, of course, to be angry at the person that your partner's cheating on you with just because of, like, jealousy. Like, it sucks and it hurts. Like, I think that that's just an initial reaction. But I don't understand beating the shit out of them, especially because at the end of the day, it is your partner's fault. Like, you can say it takes two to tango, but sometimes the other person doesn't even realize that they're the other person. <laughs> So just to start wailing on the dude, I don't get that. That doesn't make sense to me. Don't wail on anybody anyways. Uh, don't. I'm just imagining somebody dropping a literal wail onto somebody else. I just sneezed if my nose looks red. I'm a very sneezy person today. But once again, pretending that this is definitely a real prank, the guy walked away looking so angry and upset and sad, even after she said it was just a prank. The only person you're trying to make laugh is your audience, because clearly your partner didn't think it was funny to get some views on the internet. Because cheating is one of those things that a lot of people have trauma with, a lot of people have been through. Like, I wouldn't find it funny, haha, if my girlfriend was like, haha, cheating on you. Damn. Damn, this really happened to me again in my life? <laughs> it would suck. We got our full body set up right here. We got the bonnet stuff. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine yards, the whole shindig. She went to go get her toes done and she went to go get her some food. She got an unexpected surprise when she get back. So she just called me up. She ain't that far. She finna get ready to come up. It's time for action. Okay. What are you doing? He's not running us. We're the bank. It's our job to rob him. It's a prank. It's a prank. I don't play like this. Bruh, she just tased me over a freaking prank. Okay, let's just get one thing straight off the bat. I don't agree with the tasing. Don't go in the comments and be like, but Sybil, you shouldn't tase me. I know. I don't agree with the tasing. But <laughs> how are you gonna like turn around and be like, it was just a prank. I was just pranking you that I was cheating on you. It was just a prank. Like your girlfriend walks in thinking you're literally fucking another girl, or at least caressing her head very awkwardly, kind of like petting my cats more like. And then you're gonna be like, it was just a prank, dude. It was, it was just a prank. Y 
you can't, you can't assume how people are gonna react in those situations, even if it's not in a good way. So it's like, why, why would you even do that in the first place? And once again, the, the partner's not laughing. She didn't think it was fucking funny. And you clearly didn't end up with a funny reaction because you're I'm distraught. Get your ass up. Bro, Get your ass up. it's a prank. And also, you did all of this. You got tased. You made your girlfriend mad at you. Everybody's upset. For 200k likes on TikTok. Was it worth it? <laughs> You probably got like 3,000 new followers and 200k likes. Was it worth it? It's just, I don't understand. Alrighty. Bella, so you want me to be in a relationship where I don't love you? But you do love me. <laughs> but you oh, do love I me. I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. I'm just messing with you, baby. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you. I love you so much. I'm sorry. I can't do it no way. Do what? Nothing, I'm sorry. Anthony, what? Are you leaving me? I'm <laughs> leaving you, baby. Then why are you laughing at me? I'm not laughing at you, I'm sorry. You're sorry for what? Leave me on the blinds. Look, put the blinds. The one that's open. I love you, baby. I will always That was so uncomfortable. I don't know if this is like the second part to a video, but like the tags are prank and cheating and girlfriend and crying and sad. And for you, Paige. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing he did a prank where he was leaving her or said he was leaving her for another girl or something based on the tags. And she was crying. I also like how he put the pain in her voice, oh my god, with crying emojis. At least for this one, he had to turn comments off. I'm glad other people agreed that this one was not fucking good. <laughs> oh my god. Babe, I found somebody else and I'm leaving you. And I just, I can't do this anymore. No, 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 don't cry, don't cry. You're gonna find the right person for you. No, it's okay, don't cry. Fucking got him! Pranked. You dumb bitch. Look behind the blinds. Look behind the blinds. Camera one, camera two, you're a fucking dumb bitch. Why are you crying? Well, why are you upset with me, baby? I'm not leaving you. It was a prank. It was a prank. And I don't know for a fact, but that one felt real. Like, she seemed genuinely upset. I felt that was just really uncomfortable to watch. I felt so bad for her. Girlfriend back from the garage. Sorry, hun. He is a little busy to get her reaction. Who? Who has your phone? Who's had your phone texting me stupid shit like that? Where is Nobody's she? got my phone. Where is she, Billy? Is she in your garage helping you with your tools again? This is ridiculous. No, she's not. Why are you playing games? I'm not. I leave and I fucking text you and you text me some bullshit like that. Is this funny to you? Are you going crazy? This neighbor thing is not funny anymore. Are you ignorant? Is she? Why do there ain't you feel, nobody in here hiding. Why do you feel it necessary to have women in here helping you with your tools? They ain't, babe. You don't they like don't tools, honey. My tools. The only tool they like is you. I'm not. I'm just kidding, honey. Go back to bed. Oh, honey, you're gonna have to. I don't know about the neighbor. No number. I don't know things that go on. This, okay, this one's extra bad. We gotta dissect this one. So you text her from your home pretending to be a girl. So she has to drive home. She has to come back from whatever errand she was doing to come see if you're cheating on her. She then looks under a towel on a board, which was funny because I don't know how the fuck a person would fit in there. And then you gaslight her by saying, are you going crazy? When you texted her that, oh my God, it's so bad. <laughs> when you purposefully texted her from your phone, <laughs> to get her to come back and record her for likes on the internet. Once again, you made your girlfriend extremely mad and upset for 340,000 likes and maybe maybe 5,000 new followers. Congrats! Not to mention, like, notice how she says again. Like, this isn't the first time he's done some kind of, like, I'm cheating on you thing with, like, the hot neighbor girl or whatever it is that he's talking about in this caption. But he's keeping it going, which means that she doesn't know it's a prank. She doesn't know it's a prank. He, yeah, he never even told her. She just left. That's like even- My guy, you're a fucking asshole!
asshole. Uh, I would like to give her a shout out for the tool joke though. That was pretty good. I also think it's pretty messed up how like the whole butt of the joke is like, you reacted so crazy, ah, you yelled and you got upset, ah, and it's like, you just made them think that their relationship was about to crumble and their life was about to change very heavily. Uh, I thought you left. Yeah? Who did you text saying she just left? Because I just left. Who's coming over? Who is she? Oh, you know what? I meant to uh, I meant to text my cousin. That's that's who I meant to text. My bad, you babe. got the wrong one. Who have I wish for her? Babe, it, was, it, was, it meant to go to my cousin. You got the wrong one. Babe, right. just go. Just go. You gotta go. I'm ready. Once again, like just the absolute inconvenience in these pranks, like she was leaving, she left the house, and then you make her think that you're cheating, so she has to walk her ass all the way back, come fight with you, and then I'm sure you said, haha, it's a prank, and then she has to be like, well now I'm fucking, now I'm fucking 20 minutes late to my Pilates class. It's just like, it's just annoying, just annoying. Texting my boyfriend, he's leaving, come over now. Oh my god, no, 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 no. How did he not see the message? Where is he going? Bro. Slugbug yellow. What? <laughs> this MF reversed the car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> He's not coming hello, Matt. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. What the fuck you He's leaving. I live in a two-story house! I was trying to see who you were with. You actually thought it was cheating on you. Okay, I did laugh at the fact that he quite literally climbed the fucking roof. Oh, it's pretty funny. That that part is actually funny. But once again, he's upset. He's not having a good time. He's mad. He's like, what the fuck? I got in my car, I turned it on, I pulled up my Spotify, I put my fucking jams on, I was cruising. And then boom, I have to come back, fucking Spider-Man climb my way up into the roof to look at you and have you be like, you actually thought I would cheat on you? <laughs> I think that's the funniest line that's in some of these is like the sends text message that absolutely makes it look like you're cheating on your partner. And then look at them and be like, you actually think I would cheat on you? Are you fucking kidding me? Me, the person who just made you feel insecure and worry? You think I would actually cheat on you? What? Now, I don't know the dynamic of like these people's relationship. Maybe, maybe this couple thought it was funny an hour later. I don't know. But to me, I just think it's weird. I just think it's weird to make your partner think that you're like gonna cheat on them. Because cheating is a big thing for a lot of partners. It breaks up relationships. It gives them lasting trust issues and trauma. It completely rearranges their life. So to give them that split second heart attack that it's happening, I don't know, it just doesn't seem worth the 200k TikTok likes to me. I'm sure other people disagree and are like, you're just being a snowflake or whatever. I just don't think that that, that moment of, oh my fucking God, everything's going wrong and everything in my life is just upheavaled is worth, is worth the TikTok likes. Cause clearly none of the partners in those videos reacted fine even when they found out it was a prank they were still upset that's that's gonna be a whole fight on its own off camera most likely it's just weird to me doesn't feel worth it that's why i just prank my girlfriend by doing the dishes and stuff and then go i did the dishes go fuck yourself but if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe it helps me out a ton i appreciate it like I said, the GoFundMe for Ali's grandfather's uh, funeral expenses is down in the description below, so if you can, please donate, or if you can't, please share it. Uh, it would definitely help her family out a ton right now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Do you want to see something cool? If I take this new flannel that Ali's mom got me and I put it up against the camera, it looks like I just said, bye! Also, I hope you had a happy holiday if you celebrate any holidays. Happy holidays.